Hi, in this video, I am going to demonstrate the logical replication available in PG admin. So, let's understand what logical replication is and why we need it. Logical replication follow a publish and subscriber model. In a publisher node, a publication is created, which is a set of changes from table a group of table in subscriber node a subscription is created which can subscribe to one or more publications but file logical replication uh, well in traditional replication the standby server is a bit for bit copy of master server but what if uh, you want to copy only some data uh, logical replication gives you that flexibility of what should be sent and where to send the data. To use the logical replication, you need to connect to the database and you will see uh, two node publication and subscriptions. I have created two database for this demo, this pubdb and the uh, subdb. So here you can see that uh, the, the, there are two nodes. Uh, publication and subscription. You can create a publisher using publication node. But to create a publication, uh, right click on the public uh, publication node and create publication. You can define the publication by giving a name. So I am giving open Then specify whether you want to publish the data for all the table. Instead of publishing all the table, we can also specify a set of table to publish. So here you can select particular table. Not only that, a publication can choose to limit the changes they publish to any combination of insert, update, delete and truncate. For now, I am selecting all the actions. So, I am selecting all the table and all the actions. Uh, uh, here you can see, see that uh, the SQL is generated uh, to create a pub, uh, publication. So, I am creating a uh, publication called pub1 for all the table. Uh, for this, all the uh, all these operations like insert, update, delete and truncate. So, let's save it. Before creating a subscription node, we just have to understand that there is no support for replicating a scheme, a schema or a DDL. So we need to create a table in both a subscription database and the publication uh, publisher database to make a logic to make logic replication work. A subscription node can have more column or different uh, order of column, but the type and the column name must match uh, between the publish publication and subscription. And a table must have primary key or unique key. So in publication note, I have created this customer table. I entered this data into this table. And in subscription note, I have created a same detail with the same column name. Uh, here you can see that there is no data entered into this table. So this table is empty. So now let's create a subscription node. So to create that, click on the subscription and create. You can define the subscription by giving the name. So I'm giving sub one. You can give the connection detail here to connect to this publication node. Click on this uh, refresh button. 
here you can see that there is message that publication page successfully so in the list you can see that the problem that we have created earlier so just select that then specify the SSL configuration detail if you wish to use the SSL security for the connection with the publisher server then you can specify some optional configuration setting copy data so this will copy the any existing data then there is a create slot a slot is a feature available in, available in the uh, postgres sql so that makes sure that if there is any changes in the publication node that should be reflected to a subscriber node then whether you want to enable or disable the subscription so you can do that you can specify whether the, uh, the subscription should connect to the publisher node or not you can give the slot name here the default behavior is to use the name of the subscription for a slot name the last option is synchronous commit so i am keeping it as a false for now so here is a sql generated uh, for this subscription you can see that create subscription sub 1 this is the connection detail we are subscribing to this uh, publication pub 1 and these are some optional uh, details available this creates a new subscription sub 1 which will start replicating the table that are part of pub 1 and that's all that is needed to get a basic uh, replication working now if i go and check the details of the customer table uh, which is created in the subscription database you can see that the data is replicated here uh, each subscriber can subscribe to multiple publication and each publication can publish changes to multiple subscribers and one one more important thing is that the column name must match the order of the column in the subscriber table doesn't matter in this video we saw how we can use the logical replication in feature admin so if you have any query related to this or any other feature admin feature uh, please connect with us on this mail id